Welcome back to Kim's Art Alchemy. If you're looking at this, you probably know what I'm about to do. And I'm going to do another dragon's eye, dragon scale, crackle effect set of coasters. And I thought I would do red and black. So I've got naphthol red deep and primary black as my acrylic inks. I put 10 drops of the black into this cup and 11 of the red in this one. <clears throat> For my pigments, I'm using this little piggy in Grenache and this little piggy Whitehaven. So I've got them all mixed up. I'm determined to make sure that these are well mixed. So definitely I recommend mixing up your pigments first before you do your acrylic inks. I mixed up just about four ounces of resin and I'm gonna split them between the two of these. And let's get started. So I'm gonna do the black puddles first. Let's see how we go this time. And also I let my ink get to, or my ink, my resin get to 90 degrees. And then I decanted immediately. It does take a little while to get all your pigments mixed up um, and your inks mixed up. So, but that was, that was what it was. I'm wondering if I shouldn't just have, set this on a board because this is quite, this mold is quite flimsy. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pick it up and I'm going to get that resin to go all the way around. And as you know, my preference, I've seen other people do rings around the outside um, and then go in. Um, I personally don't like doing that. I prefer to just do the puddle pours and leave it at that. Okay, so let's try and get these even. All right, I'm feeling good about this. Okay, so next we're going to do the colored one, which is my Grenache. Let's put this one in here. So I'm going to have to put a quarter of this in. But the first pour, you can put a little bit more than a quarter. Okay, okie dokie. And then we do the white. Again, a quarter, and a quarter, and I don't know, I'm just eyeballing it, and then the red, and this one, I just need to divide it in half. Seems about right. And then we go again with the white, but I'm gonna torch first. Okay. 
I'm getting very good at fusing my resin to the mold, so I'm trying to be a little more careful. Give this another little stir. Okay, white. And white. Now the last one, which is the red. For the colors. I should clarify. <laughs> Now, if you don't want to have an eye, like a dragon eye, um, you don't need to do a push. But your crackles may not come all the way in, but your color will come all the way in. So it's just a choice that you make. I think there's a little more interest um, by doing the push. I don't do a big push, so the amount of clear that I have left is very minimal. I don't know if you can see that. About half an ounce. Yeah. All right, and then we do the little push. And that pushes that out. Oh man. Hopefully I fix that blender. Really don't want to drop going anywhere other than where it's supposed to go. And now we wait. We're back and I have unmolded, demolded my dragon eyes in red and black. I have not looked at them yet. So let's see how they turned out. Ooh. Oh, holy smokes. They are awesome. Oh, wow. So the red really came through. This is amazing. I have, oops, that's not there. I was like, I had unmixed mica, but no, I don't. Look how cool that is. So the crackles came really far in, right to the center. And I put red as the backing on the recommendation of my good friend, Michelle of Royal River Art. Please go check her out. I will put her channel up here on the screen as well as in the description below. But wow, look at that. So I, you know, you, you can't really see the background that well because of that center little area. But if it had not been there, you would see through it. And this is the other one. Oh my gosh, look at this beauty. I am in love with these. They are just so cool. Look at that. This is ridiculous red. I love it. So this is how the red and the black combo come out. 
What are your thoughts on this color combination? Let me know in the comments below. I thought it would be a great kind of combo for a dragon. Red for the fire, black for not fire. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Coal, maybe. Um, but yeah, red and black is a very common combo. And it just seemed perfect for a dragon. I can see that there are a couple of areas where my pigment powder hadn't mixed 100%. And I swear I mixed this up like crazy, crazy, crazy. So it just goes to show, apparently you can never mix it up enough. But that's resin. You know, you're not going to get, this is not factory produced, mass produced, you're going to have imperfections and the imperfections are what make it beautiful. So that's my take. And I'm trying to hold on to that because I'm very much a perfectionist. But again, it, it is what it is. It's not a mass production, computer generated creation. It's my alchemy. It's my creation. So let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for being here. I hope you'll come back and I hope that this inspires you to go out and make a positive impact in however you can be your own alchemist and make the world a better place. Bye for now.